Hello and welcome to a new video about the electric field. We're talking about capacitors and we're talking about circuits with capacitors and we're talking about filters. Yeah? Last time we talked about the low pass filter. Today we want to talk about the high pass filter. And it's a combination of C and R. And well, I think it should not be a surprise that it looks like this. C and R just switched places. Yeah? How else? How else could they be combined? Two positions, two elements, combine one way, combine another way. So, here, this is our circuit now. We have again an input voltage. I have drawn the input voltage exactly like last time. Remember, last time it looked like that. So this was a high pass filter, this was the low pass filter, this was the high pass filter. This was what we have seen on the low pass filter. And now let's see what we see at the high pass filter. So again, I'm using one element, uh, one, one tau. Yeah? When I can find the correct color, it's here. Yeah? It's here, before my eyes. Tau one, okay? So let's think what is happening at the beginning. At the beginning, everything is zero, we say. This is our premise, okay? Everything is zero, and then we switch on UI here. Yeah? So the voltage you see yeah, is zero. It will stay zero because there was no current inside. And the voltage, which is appearing at R, which is also appearing at the output, yeah, will be the complete. So it, we will go up here, exactly the same. We will go up here yeah, to the full amount of the input voltage. And then C is charged. So this, this voltage at C is getting bigger, 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 bigger. So the voltage at R is dropping, 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 dropping. Yeah? And it is looking like that. At some point in time, the capacitor is fully charged yeah? and R has no voltage left. Yeah? And what is happening now? Yeah, what is happening now? We have now UI there and suddenly UI is zero. So this basically means I do have here a short circuit. You can think about switching between zero volts or between A voltage source. Yeah? This is this is how you can think about this. And now we switch to this, to this position. Right? So we are short circuit. So what it means, you see, is charged in this direction. Zack. Yeah. And there is no voltage left because U I is zero. So R is the voltage R is minus U C. Yeah. So this means whoop. We are going down. Since UC was charged to the full amount of UI before, we're jumping to exactly this amount. So if I want to call it U0 here, yeah, we have here U0, here we have minus U0. Yeah. So we're going down here. Yeah. And then C is decharged by this R, and we're going up. It would look exactly like this peak, peak yeah, but the other way around. So again, we are somewhere at zero. And here, back. The same game over and over. Back. And since this is looking like that since the beginning, there's also no real difference later. Yeah? So here, dropping, zack, going up. Rising, going down. So after a considerable amount of time has passed, this is looking exactly the same way. What we see is just some peaks here. This is actually what we see at the output. All right. Now let's think what is happening if we have a longer tau, a longer time constant. Tau is RC, 
Again, maybe I should write this also down. Tau equals R times C. And now it's again, does not really matter if tau is changing or if the frequency is changing. It's just a relative between frequency and, and, and tau, time constant. So we're going up huh? and then we might reach just here. Also here would look like the same. And again, we're going up and we are a little bit later. But we reach, just reach the the end value. Huh? So this is how this would look like. Clear. Huh? So this is some sort of border case because next time, next time, next time constant we are having a look at we will we will not decharge here yeah? so c has no longer the time to be fully charged yeah? so let's see what is happening there tau 3 we are decharging but there's a little amount rest because c is not fully charged to this UI, yeah? and now this UI is dropping to zero, book. And what amount we have charged here is going down. So we will again see yeah, the full hub, this, in between here. We have again U0, yeah? so it's the full, the full jump here. And then we will also decharge. And since we are not decharging from that high level here, yeah, we might reach here. We are not that far off. Yeah. So here we are not going up completely. And then there will then be a stable swing. And if it is swinging perfectly, without this beginning this distortions, it would look like that. Not reaching the full peak anymore here, but the jump in between will stay full. Okay. Now let's see if we can even make it further. So this means we're going down here. And then we have this amount and we state this amount up. This here. We're going down here. Going up here. And at some point in time, we are again reaching a stable a stable swing around zero this time. Yeah. Right. And if we are going really high, then we will just drop here a little bit. We will stay this amount below here, drop here a little bit. All right. We go up here to here, drop here a little bit. So this point is below, oh, 
not really checked or not really managed. This point here is below. Yeah? So we're also not going up, down. We're going a little bit further down. What we will see is that this is going down, this, this deep here, and this is going also down. And in the end, yeah, we would look like, like that. That we have here a swing with relatively flat. This is how it would look like if it's stable, okay? And what is left? If we are just, if we are just adding uh, a tau zero, which is very short, then we just see these peaks. We just see peaks here. Yeah? Just see short peaks. Practically nothing is left. Yeah? Just very short, ping, 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 ping. And if we really, really have a, a long, long time constant, in the end it would look like that. Almost flat, almost flat, almost flat, in the middle, uh, and we have a stable swing. Right. This is how it would look like at really long time constants. Here I will not draw this because we would reach very long to reach the stable, the stable phase. Right. So actually, it, it's just you know, it's just going down here a little bit. A little bit dropping to here going up a little bit not reaching exactly zero here starting a little bit lower yeah going down a little bit a little bit further than here and so it will take a time until this swing here drops and then what does it mean yeah the swinging is still there what is what is not there is the average value yeah. so the average value is completely gone. Low frequencies are filtered out. Average value is a very low frequency. So frequency is zero. This is gone. Yeah. High frequencies, relatively high frequencies compared to the time constant, are passing this thing, as you see. And there is again this, this, this uh, cutoff frequency. Now this time we are cutting off the lower parts. And the higher parts will stay there. So the cutoff frequency is still the same. Omega zero equals one divided by tau. And omega zero is two pi f zero. So this is the angular frequency yeah? and this is this is the frequency by swings per second yeah? this is a rod per second this is swings per second all right so uh, this is what it will look like and we will have a look at it at the computer okay so we will have a look at that at the computer and see how this is is working there so here at the computer, we, well, it's exactly the same diagram like last time. So this dotted line here, this is the input voltage. And now the peaks here are the output voltage. Right? So the peaks here are the output voltage. Uh, let's see. Um, this is a very short time constant. We only see those little peaks. And it's looking exactly like, like I shown you. 
let's make this hour a little bit longer, 100. Aha, then we have this, these slides. Let's go to, to zero. Uh, so at the beginning, this is the beginning. We have those peaks and we see the charging of the capacitor, which is dropping now the output voltage because actually it's, it's the other voltage. It's, it's the R voltage here. Okay, and let's make it even a little bit more, 200. And this is almost the case where we said, okay, this is the border case where we just fully decharge. Mm -hmm. Because time constant is 0 to 2 seconds, and after 5 time constants, and this is 1 second, uh, uh, we are almost there. We see this here. Let's go further, 300. We are not even noticing, maybe we can a little bit this, this swing in. So the first peak is very high, the second peak is a little lower, the third peak, peak is also lower, and then we have a stable swing. Even if we look a little bit later, three seconds in the future, stable swinging. Right. Okay, let's make it 500. Also here, after one swing, it looks already stable. Yeah. Looking into the future, stable swing. So let's go a little bit more, 1000. Okay, here we see, see it much better. Yeah. The first peak is to the full extent, then we are lowering. Then we will jump exactly this amount below and we are ending up here. We are rising and now we are starting not at zero, we are starting at a lower position, so we are not going up that far anymore. Huh? Next peak, next gain. So here we are ending up even lower huh? and here we are ending up also lower. But those two already look the same, so this is this, this begin distortion. Yeah? After a certain amount of time, which is here not that long as we see, we have a stable swinging and this is how it looks like. 1000. More. Here we see it. Every peak here is getting lower and lower. Yeah? But the difference from one peak to the other will disappear. And after a while, we have a stable swing. Here all the peaks are here. You will see still we still see here that it is dropping. So let's get a little bit further into the future. Well, here it's stable. Here we have our, our swinging. Now let's see what is happening if I'm using 5000. We see it's dropping, slowly dropping, and then after a certain amount of time, is this already? No, that's not even stable. Look at that. This peak is still a little bit further than this. But I think it's minus 15 also still possible. Yeah, minus 15 is also still possible because somewhere my table ends. Well, this is why. Okay, and here we have the stable swinging. And if we go even further, then we will not see the stable swinging because we will not reach. You see, it's here it's still dropping. So it takes quite an amount of time quite an amount of time. Yeah, low pass filter. This is how this is how this is working. I hope I could make this a little bit clear to you. Uh, yeah, and with this filter I will end my series of videos about the electric field. That's enough for us. Uh, Next topic I'm going to explain is the magnetic field. Magnetic field, stuff and something to do with electrical engineering. Oh yes, oh yes. Electric field is part of electric effects. A magnetic field, of course. Magnetic field is part of electric effects. And we will have a look at those effects. What are they doing in a new series of videos? You can watch them, you don't have to, but I would advise. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.